while when this happened, there were lots of kids inside of this building at a church function. And Eli Rosenberg has more on that story. 44 campers and 20 counselors on the third floor of this church when all of a sudden it collapsed. In fact, take a look at some of the damage right here. Two women who were inside say they heard a boom and then relied on their faith to guide them out. I'm pretty sure today I'm positive God was with us. Vasti Sanchez was one of the 20 counselors inside the church when at 10.33 a.m. the back part caved in. Check out this surveillance video. It shows the kids running to safety. They were all on the top floor. One woman tells me some of the kids wanted to go to the very rear of the building this morning but didn't when others started to play a game together. Talk about a close call. Another woman who was inside said the building started to creak, then gave in. They rushed forward and then down the stairs. It was just kind of like a hushing sound. And then you just, when I looked back, I just saw everything starting to collapse. It was just a big boom. And, you know, I grabbed my sister. My sister, she's, she's, um, she has a disability. And God just gave me the strength. Like, it was just like, I didn't feel anything when I carried her. I had her and I still helped people get kids out. Just a remarkable story right there. These two women were religious before, but they tell me their belief in God is only magnified after what they witnessed and survived. In KCMO, Eli Rosenberg, KBC 9 News.